Hey there guys and welcome along to another edition of Inside the Arcade. Today I'm going to be talking about the coin pusher and if you haven't checked out already there is a coin pusher exposed video that was uploaded a short while ago and that's been met with great success really. A lot of people found those uh, tips quite useful. Make sure that you check that out. The link's down in the description below. Now today I'm going to be talking about a few more uh, secrets that the coin pusher has to hold and it does hold a little bit more of a uh, sketchy secret. Stick around, make sure you watch out for that one. We're gonna see which method actually gets you the best pushes and ultimately how you can win that prize a lot quicker. So make sure you stick around and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing. Hope you get a lot of good advice out of this one. Okay, here is the coin pusher. Now, one thing that you will need to watch out for when you're playing these in the arcade is how high these coins are at the back row and also at the front. More so the back row because as you can see this is actually just a single layer and you can see the bottom underneath it. Now when a coin drops down from the top here it lands on the bottom layer. So for example if you had a lot of coins on the top there, if that is as high as the rest of coins, if we then drop a coin onto there you'll see it doesn't actually move a full coin's width, it actually just moves it a fraction, a couple of millimetres. So if you have a very high stack of coins on your, on your playbed, it's going to be a lot harder to move. On an average machine, this is how many coins it's going to take. And the first one that we're going to try is playing very conservatively. We're going to put one or two coins in at a time and speed the video up a bit. See how many coins it's actually going to take to get this £5 note and the tickets, which is average weight and size for a coin pusher. So we're going to see how many coins it takes conservatively and also when we make it rain coins. Let's see how quickly we can do it. Okay, so that was conservative play and I went through about 100 coins and as you can see I've gone a two coin width from where the pusher starts. So now what I'm going to do is play uh, more aggressively and see if that makes a difference. So I started off with 100 coins again and by putting them in rapidly I have been able to push this £5 note and the tickets five coins further and the reasoning behind this is, is pure and simple that the more coins that get pushed down from this bed here on a single push the further the coins are going to travel on that single push. If I was to put two coins, you notice that we don't get any movement at all. Because this is all very heavy, all these together. So if I was to push a big surface weight, it allows a, a stronger push because the surface of these three 10 P's in succession is a lot more than a single one, which is just gonna sort of disappear into like all these little crevices, all these cracks between the 10 P's. They all get pushed together a little bit more and the weight of the coins back here and the amount of force it's going to require to push these coins at the back here are, is far greater than these single coins that can move around quite freely but these coins down here especially the bottom ones underneath all this weight doesn't actually move very easily at all Okay, so another point I want to talk about is prizes in the coin pusher. Believe it or not, the amount of prizes that I've claimed in an arcade because someone has hit the on, on this front glass here and they think, well, it's not gone out the chute, so I can't claim it. Well, there is general etiquette within an arcade that says that once a prize is touching the front glass, it's yours.
Now, if I was in an arcade, I would now go and get the attendant because that is on the glass and for legal reasons if a prize is on the glass and can't be pushed further that prize should be yours if it's not then they're breaking trading standards rules which says that basically uh, inside uh, an arcade machine there should be prizes that are always winnable and this also applies for prizes uh, that are going down the gutters it's actually incapable of going any further because it's caught inside uh, the gutter there so it won't go any further so what you can do is you can ask the arcade operator to put it in a, a central location don't expect them to get it out for you it's certainly not one uh, but if you can ask them to move it across in the same position it was on the gutter um, to make sure that when you now push it again it's now able to move again Okay, so this is going to be uh, quite a revelation for you guys in terms of uh, showing you just how much this lip plays a part and how much you're paid out. Now, I've set this to probably the highest that you could set a Harry Levy lip to, and it's set to one layer there and another layer at the top, and then one in the middle to push that top layer a little bit higher. With this machine, there's a lovely little key there that it just sets the hoppers running infinitely to purge the machine, to get the machine ready to play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it off now, and this is basically an unlimited amount of coins. So I'm going to set this off for exactly 30 seconds, and we're going to count how many coins we have at the bottom. And then I'm going to do it again, just remove uh, the middle layer uh, of the coins, so it just reduces it ever so slightly. And then we're going to show you exactly how many coins the coin pusher could then pay out. So I'm going to set off the coin pusher now for 30 seconds and at this rate uh, the payout percentage is the lowest because the coin lip there is set to the highest position uh, available. So this will be the lowest amount it can pay out. Okay, so a little bit more than 30 seconds there because it is actually still paying out with these coins at the back here that haven't leveled out just yet. I'm going to keep the security flap open. But that was 30 seconds of uh, coins here. Yeah, lots of coins going down the side because that's exactly where these are going to go because most of the movement for the coins is going forward and sideways because it's being stopped by this front wall here. And this front wall is absolutely ginormous. You would think, wow, I'm going to play that because look at all them coins at the front. Hell no, they ain't coming off. Or well, they are, but uh, very slowly. So now we're going to have to count how many coins we've got out here. We have got quite a few, to be fair. We've got one pound, two pound, three pound, four pound, five pound, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got about 110 coins. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this lip and I'm going to set it off for another 30 seconds and you should see instantly what difference it makes. Okay, so I've removed that bottom lip there and the middle lip. So now there is only one uh, lip of coins there uh, and we're going to set it off for another 30 seconds and you should see pretty much straight away with an unlimited coin splash for 30 seconds what difference that makes on your pay up percentage with that lip removed. Okay, so that was 30 seconds. And as you can see, our chute is so full that it's actually filled it up. Now, I'm not even going to bother counting that out because you can quite clearly see there must be at least 20 quid worth there. So I'd say probably about double the amount of payout just by removing those front coins that look like they're part of the actual machine itself. And it's still paying out now. When I removed the lips, I actually pushed this front layer back, so it wasn't even. It's still going. It, there wasn't. It wasn't even primed to pay out. 
that was just the amount of coins that were able to be pushed forward. Oh, look at the state of my fingers because of all these 10 pieces. Sorry about that. I know I get lots of comments about my fingernails in the last video. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, you can see just how much of a difference that makes. There we go. So you can see quite clearly now how much force is pushed to this front layer uh, when there is uh, less of a lip caused by these decorative coins that are put on the front. Now one last topic that I want to talk about in terms of uh, coin pushers and what you need to watch out for. Uh, bring us to light a video that I saw by uh, a YouTuber named Arcade Matt. Now, this bloke is, is great with the videos that he does. Um, he got viral through a claw machine video that he published, got very lucky. And one of the recent videos that he uploaded was of him playing a pot of silver, uh, which is a quarter pusher, over in the States. Now, it's not to say that what he said or did or anything like that was wrong, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a great guy uh, from the looks of never met him, but, you know, he, he, he plays arcade machines, keeps the kids entertained and all that, which is great. But he did something fundamentally wrong in his video, and uh, unfortunately I'm going to point that out because it's something that you need to watch out for. Now, in terms of uh, his video, he was going for one of these little... Uh, quarters that had like a little green stick in it. It was like, and I was like oh wow that, that sounds cool and it was quite close to the edge like it was here now you know so it, it was winnable but one thing that he didn't notice was that the coins were set up like this now whether or not they were actually set up or not um, is is one thing but they'd ended up sometimes coins do generally end up in like this sort of snake like fashion where they're sort of one on top of the other. And what happens is that when it's getting pushed from the outside, all that happens is it sort of, the force goes up these coins and then it sort of rolls backwards, but you don't get a lot of push. I mean, I'm, I'm actually like pushing that now, like gently, of course, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing as much as I'm pushing like this, but you see, I'm, I'm pushing and it's not going anywhere. It's not pushing any coins in front, it's not pushing any coins behind it. So I'm gonna put five pounds through the coin pusher now with this prize quite near the front and I've got nothing on the lip. I've got one layer which was on the last little bit that I did here with the unlimited coin splash. Uh, so it shouldn't pay out any differently and you saw how many coins came through there. I've removed all the coins from the front so it really should be quite clear to push it. And we're going to see just how far this coin goes. In fact, now that I've put those snake-like 10 peas in there, in that fashion, we're not getting a lot of push at all. There's hardly any push, and there's no... This is on the same setting you saw it a minute ago on the Unlimited, and that was 50 coins for it, and we haven't had a single one back through. So, let's set off this Unlimited coin splash. Okay, so now I've got an almighty jam because of the sheer amount of coins that I've got through this and we are nowhere near, nowhere near getting this, this prize out.
the amount of coins and all these coins here look at how much it paid out with all that coin splash it's absolute I mean all those coins this is about 25 quids worth about 250 coins and that moved about half an inch at the front there no further on and it's because of these snake like 10 peas that have been set up in this fashion you just get no forward momentum whatsoever that's something else you definitely definitely want to watch out for okay then guys so hopefully you got a lot of hints and tips from that video uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you thought they were useful and definitely make sure that you watch out for that last one because that one can really set you up you know it can it can cost you a lot of money to win a prize uh, with those quarters the way they are and that took me a couple of minutes to set up and it just looks like a normal normal coin pusher you know how, how it's all lined up and whatnot and you I could have put that on the top there and it probably wouldn't have made a great deal more difference so anyway thanks very much for watching guys if you did like the video like I say give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing because uh, that would uh, help me out greatly on the channel and uh, hopefully grow it a little bit more all right guys well thanks very much for watching see you later goodbye